I love toys. Growing up in the 90s, the Furby, Tamagotchi and Game Boy still hold a special place in my heart. And in this video, I'll attempt to make a toy of my own. <laughs> Amazing. Pow! Ah, the YouTube channel Corridor Crew held some challenges in which they competed to make the most satisfying animated video renders. Some of them showed machines. So I wonder, can I make a toy that is also satisfying? I had previously ordered a bunch of metal balls. Seeing a ball get launched in a pinball machine is definitely one of the more satisfying things to see. So this is what I want to see happening over and over with my toy machine. So I figured I'll just use the same component as in a real pinball machine, a solenoid. And I had one laying around for my previous project, the wine bottle playing musical robot. Go check out the video if you haven't seen it already. I made a quick design where you can put the ball in a chute and the solenoid will shoot the ball up. However, the solenoids that I have weren't powerful enough, the ball didn't get high enough. So I switched to a different concept. And that's a gear with a few teeth missing. And the gear is turning around a rack and as soon as the missing teeth connect to the rack, the rack is free to get pulled back by the spring, which will launch the ball. So here's a 3D drawing of this concept. After some 3D printing, I learned that this concept worked. So this is the principle we're going to use. I made iteration after iteration, every time adding a little bit of functionality and complexity, until I was completely satisfied with the design. I printed the final parts and now it's time to assemble. The frame consists of two parts, which can be bolted together. The stepper motor gets locked into position and is then bolted down. I had never used threaded inserts before, but it's so satisfying to melt these things into your 3D prints and then screw a bolt into it. Bolting it down prevents things like this from happening. <laughs> so this design had a big flaw in it. Ah, okay, so I really need to redesign that part. And then I can do a first test with the steel balls. I probably won't get hurt again. Ah, hit me. Ow, hit me again. Now I'm gonna stop this and put on some glasses because I like to be able to see. Oh, oh, oh! To stop getting barraged, I decided to make some covers. I was able to buy some nice leftover material from the nearby acrylic plate shop and I cut the stuff with a laser cutter and then added it to the toy. We're almost done. Damn. <laughs> This is amazing. We're going twice as fast yet again. Not the sound of good things. Okay, we learned the maximum speed of this stepper. To finish the project up, I made a nice back cover. And the pretty speed knob. Hopefully this is the final test and we finished the project. Oh man, I love that this works. Oh, so cool. It is really satisfying. I'm completely satisfied, and I hope you are too. And in case you are not, at the end of the video there's two minutes of the toy just running. And I'll see in the analytics how long you guys watched. I never expected myself to be able to make something like this. I mean, I made 10 different parts that all interconnect into one toy. That's new to me. I used threaded inserts for the first time. And also never before had I used plexiglass to make nice covers for a project. Or had I made something with a nice back cover, kickstand and a custom button on the front side. I mean, I'm just winging it here, but it's nice to learn these things and do them for the first time. And I really enjoy sharing it with you guys. That's my main reason to do any of these projects. And as a treat, I'm making it all available for free. 3D models, the code, and the electrical diagram. Let me know if you make one of your own. So thanks so much for watching and until next time. Oh, and if you enjoy 3D printing projects like this, you might also like this one. I made a scary robot face mask, which can be happy or angry. Check it out right here.
And now two minutes of just shots of the toy running. Enjoy! Gravity's dance, night and day 